welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I actually did not even plan on vlogging today, but I just got back home and kind of just felt like turning on the camera and talking to you guys. Obviously, I wanted to start off this vlog by saying sorry because I really, really hate doing these updates because I never want to be that type of YouTuber to be really inconsistent all the time and then keep coming back and giving you guys excuses and updates on why I've been gone because as a viewer on YouTube myself, I do get a little bit annoyed with those kind of YouTubers and I just hate that I'm gonna be that type of person to do that but I just wanted to update you guys before I start this vlog. Everything's just been kind of crazy hectic and just trying to get used to so many changes in my life and it's been very difficult to jumble YouTube with all of everything else with my new job. Just it's, it's been hard to find the time to do anything honestly. Obviously with all these big new changes it's taken a toll on my mental health. I actually have not been doing that well for the past um, couple weeks. And today I actually went to go have lunch with my sister because I love my sister, she's my best friend and she, out of everyone in my life, is the one who understands me the most just because we're so, so similar. So I had a little bit of talk with her and I feel a lot better after talking to her and venting to her about stuff that's been on my mind. I don't really want to bombard you guys with everything that I've been going through because I know it might be a lot and honestly there's still a lot of things that I'm still trying to understand myself and trying to process and that's just kind of what I wanted to update you guys with but today is my day off like I said I just had lunch with my sister we did a little bit of shopping walk around the mall and I just did a little bit of retail therapy not too much but I wanted to show you guys because I thought they were pretty interesting stuff I went to Uniqlo I also went to Daiso um, looking for like stationary stuff for my planner, but I actually did not find anything for my planner. Just a whole bunch of random stuff. Hello, Miss Lacey May wants to say hi to everyone. Say hi, baby. <laughs> say hi to everyone, okay? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Every time that I have a shopping bag, she thinks that I bought something for her, but I don't think I got anything for her today. Anyways, we went to Uniqlo and I just got sleeping shirts. <laughs> I thought they were really cute, but I had no idea that today was actually the first day that they launched their collab with Animal Crossing. So they had a bunch of cute Animal Crossing stuff. Obviously for graphic tees, I usually get them like in a bigger size so I can just use them as sleeping shirts because I like to wear big baggy shirts to sleep. I also got this shirt for Nigel because I know this is one of his favorite animes. I have no idea like what it's about or anything, but it's like a pretty popular one. Here's the back of it. Um, and then I got this pink tie-dye one. It's really cute. Love how bright it is and it has Tom Nook on it. Um, it's so cute and dainty and I love the tie-dye. Super cute. And then this one I thought was really cute. I love the color. It's so like a sage green. Um, and this one use your bells well and then the back of it is really cute it has turnips with um is it daisy I forget but super cute from daiso I'm just gonna drop everything out all right so when i first got into daiso also excuse my nails i did them myself like two weeks ago and then i decided to just cut them because I was tired of having them long, so that's why they look very jagged. But anyways, um, I walked into Daiso and then I saw that they had a bunch of like real Akuma and like Hello Kitty face masks and like accessories and stuff. And I was was like freaking out because I thought they were so cute. I'm just a sucker for these type of things. But um, they had these masks. They're actually five dollars instead of a dollar fifty, which is fine, I guess. But this one, these two are reusable, and then this one is a four pack of like the disposable ones. This one has like sushi on it, which I thought was really cute because you guys know I love sushi. And then this one is like a green one with a little bakery truck thing. I thought it was really adorable. And then this one has like uh, the space on it. And then they also had this pack of disinfecting wipes, which I thought would be really cute to just throw in my purse. It's another really Kuma. This was $2. Um, and then I got these sanitizers, which I thought were so cute. They're pink, um, 
with like the pink cover and I think they're just aloe vera scented and then I got this big pack this is only two dollars there's two four six eight ten of them with really kuma on it pink I just like to keep these like in my purse in my car just like everywhere because you always need tissue and then I got some whiteout because I don't have any and I'm always making mistakes in my planner and drives me nuts so got that and then lastly I got this like window curtain that you put like on the side of your window because when I go to work I like to have my lunches in my car and it's been getting really really hot and it's hard to find shade in our parking lot so I bought like a sun shield to put like on the dash um, like the dashboard or whatever and then I still needed one for like the side um, of like the driver's seat because sometimes the sun be beaming on my legs and like it burns so I thought this is pretty interesting so we'll see if it works I just bought all this random stuff it actually was a lot more than I expected or anticipated to spend but really cute I just got one of my packages but I'm still waiting on um hey stop mm -mm. no no I just put some food over there and then she's like sniffing it I bought some stickers from the shop that I actually have um, I had never heard of prior um, before but they were having like a really really good deal and I got all of this for like $20 which is good because planner stickers can be kind of expensive Piper Paper Company here's the shop name if you guys are interested um, the sale she was doing I think is over now but um, I think she still has like a lot of nice ones there I gotta excuse my nails, <laughs> but I think this is a freebie, like her little thank you freebie. I got these bubble tea ones, and then I got iced coffee, I got some scripts that say walk the dog, some cursive script that say meal plan, I have a brain dump, evening routine, and morning routine, and then I have brunch day, super cute with a little croissant. Um, pick up meds for when I go pick up my birth control sushi night Because you guys know I have sushi like every week grocery shop pay bills Girls night. I like how these are scripts and icons So that's nice and then happy mail with a little package coffee break more happy mail read a book and laundry day and then plan next week so yeah super excited for these stickers actually still in my mo term actually i don't think i ever have i ever showed you guys i have no idea i actually just bought a new planner which should be coming in a couple days so i'm really excited to switch into that one just for like a change you know but here's like just a quick flip i guess um i know there's like some personal stuff in here so i can't really show you a full flip right now but that's what it's looking like it's very very packed it's hard to like open and close the rings and like switch out answers and stuff but that is what i have so far in this planner it's been like my favorite planner ever i don't regret selling my louis vuitton one at all because i'm just so happy with this with this one and I'm really excited to get my new one. I'm just gonna switch back between this one and then the other one. So like when I get tired of um, each one, I can just keep going back and forth because I'm just someone who likes change a lot of the time. <laughs> like I get tired of um, the same thing over and over again when it comes to most things, I guess. But. Hey guys, it's been a couple hours. I was just doing a couple of um, things I need to get done. But I'm about to do a leg workout. I actually am starting to take pre-workout again. I stopped taking pre-workout like I want to say almost two years ago because it was like really bad for my anxiety because of like all the caffeine and stuff because I also was drinking like coffee and like uh, energy drinks throughout, throughout the day. So I tried to limit myself to how much caffeine um, intake that I had. I only really take about half a scoop. Bought the Alani New pre-workout in the mimosa flavor. I'm not like the hugest fan of this flavor as a pre-workout. I don't know, it just tastes weird to me, but it was like the only one that was left on Amazon. Yeah, and I just dry scoop it because it's just quicker that way, I guess. I don't know. Today is actually going to be a pretty heavy um, 
like day for me. My workout outfit is not cute. And I kept my makeup on because I'm like, well, if my outfit's not gonna be cute, at least my face will be cute. <laughs> And I'm also going to wear my deadlifting shoes for my workout today. In case you guys are wondering, because I know they're, they're not the cutest when I have them on. And they're like this bright blue color that does not go with any of my outfits. But <laughs> they're just deadlifting shoes. They're specifically made for deadlifting. But I know some people use it for squats as well. Um, but they're just really good for a leg day because they're flat. And I usually got these for one of our friends. But they were too small. And so he ended up getting giving them to me. I'm gonna try to start off small and see if I can get up to a plate. Okay, so I just did two sets of 155 and Nigel is spotting me and now he's like, go ahead and add another 10 on there or two 10s. So this is 175, which I have not hit in over a year and yet Nigel wants me to try and get one rep in. I don't know, I think he's trying to kill me, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I really don't know if I'll be able to do it, but we'll see. Patient. I got you something, babe. Jimmy. <laughs> oh, wham. <laughs> you talk to Jimmy about this? No. Oh, how'd you know I like this? Because you always Jimmy talk Club? about it. Yeah. <laughs> Looking dead. I like this. I don't think you'll wear it. You wouldn't wear it outside, huh? I wear this outside. Oh, you would? I thought Fuck I just yeah. thought you would wear it as like a sleeping shirt. I wear this with a cookout. Like yeah. the manga too. So. <laughs> True fan. True Good morning guys. Um, last night was pretty rough. Um, sorry, I, I don't know, like after I worked out, I kind of just had like a a breakdown and a panic attack. Look at my eyes, you guys. Like they're so freaking puffy. I don't even want to show my face, so yeah. And I slept with my hair while it was wet, so that's why it's looking all crazy. Um, yeah, I had a really rough night, but today's a new day. I'm gonna think more positive thoughts and try to t make today a better day. I have my Alani New. I really wanted coffee, but we're out of milk and coffee creamer, so this will just have to do. And I'm gonna try to force myself to eat these fruits right here, strawberries, and we got these peaches from Trader Joe's and like they look so cute. They kinda look like donuts. They're called Saturn peaches, but well, I'm excited to eat those, so. I have a lot to do today, like a ton of chores to do, and I have to finish editing this video for my friend, and then I have to print out all my inserts for July because I didn't get to do that yesterday for my planner, and like a whole bunch of other stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing um, while I have my little sad breakfast here. I'm just going to try to get my shit together today because I do not want to repeat of uh, last night. Tonight Nigel's taking me out to get sushi to make me feel better so I'm really really excited about that. Um, 
So yeah, I guess I'll just have to get our day started. everybody it's a new week actually um the last clips you saw were from last week and i guess last week just wasn't the week for me to get my shit together but hopefully this week is a better week it's actually already six o'clock at night um i just got home from spending time with my cousin who i have not seen in over a year i think or actually i have not hung out and chatted with her for over a year i think we saw each other maybe like once or twice um just like to drop stuff off at each other's house or whatever but other than that I haven't seen her and I really missed her and it was nice catching up with her and just crazy because we both got engaged um, during the pandemic and I'm just so excited to see all her wedding plans and her journey and all this stuff but anyways me and Nigel are actually about to work out we also got boba it doesn't look that good right now because it's like separating but this is the mango matcha from happy lemon and it's really good i haven't been there in a while but i want to share with you this ulta haul i got two bags worth of stuff because um retail therapy but i actually wanted to go because they're having a sale on their jumbo hair shampoo and conditioner and i had to go pick up some backups and stuff because i'm running out the jumbo size of the redken color extant color extend conditioner i have the shampoo and the conditioner um but i only have the small size for the conditioner so i'm almost out so i picked up that this is just good for if you have colored hair and then i also got the red can color extend bondage purple shampoo this is a purple shampoo i got and I, I also got the conditioner as well just to i guess match it or whatever but main reason why i went to ulta and then i picked up a whole bunch of other random stuff I got two of the poopery. If you guys don't know what this is, definitely recommend it. It's just poop spray for after when you go to the bathroom so it doesn't smell. I got those because you can never have enough. Classic sunscreen spray from Kula. This is SPF 70. Um, I've never tried their products before, but hopefully it's good. It's in the scent to peach blossom. So I got the Sun Bum Scalp and Hair Mist, which I thought was interesting has spf 30 a cosmetic cc plus cream and this one has spf 50 i actually this is probably like the third or fourth one that i've bought because i go through it pretty quickly but i got i saw that they extended their shade range which is cool i used to get medium which was a little bit too dark for me but now they have a light medium so hopefully this is a better shade kat von d products now now I'm not sure if she still owns the brand. I heard something about it not being her brand anymore, like she doesn't own it. I got two of the liquid lipsticks because I have not um, worn liquid lipstick in a long time and I actually really wanted to start wearing it again, but I got the color Lolita 2. I already have the first Lolita, which I love, um, but and I've tried Lolita 2 before, but um, I haven't had it in a while. Good morning guys, welcome to New Day. We're gonna try to go to that revolving sushi place again. We're gonna arrive about 30 minutes early, so hopefully there's no like huge line already because I know like around a two, sometimes even four hour wait lately, so we'll see. We're about here already. Okay, it's right there. I don't really see a line yet, but maybe they're around the corner. Right, we're back in the car because we thought that was like the line to get in but it was actually the line to put yourself on the wait list and then once we put our name on there was already 30 people ahead of us someone was here probably at 10 p.m and signed themselves up or at 10 a.m yeah so That's crazy. we put our name on it said it was estimated hour and a half wait which isn't too bad because i feel like we can get some stuff done in between that time and then it's possible that it could be even shorter than that um, because they're not even open yet and now we know 
we have to come even earlier to put our names on the list if we want to get in right away. But. Okay guys, we made it quicker than expected and we're here. in the car we just finished my stomach is like about to pop we're so bloated right now because we so what happened was we got that little toy after every 15 plates to get like a little toy when we hit 15 plates the toy didn't come out which was kind of like anticlimactic so we had to ask the uh, waitress to give us one we were like okay maybe if we try again then we can it'll come out and maybe it's like jammed or something but we could not reach 30 plates it was too hard i think we Enjoy ended up large. doing 18 plates and then we didn't realize that the ramen and the dessert that we got don't come with a plate the experience is really fun i think it's nice to go and experience something like that once it was our first time we've been to a lot of conveyor belt sushi places before but nothing like this where you can order off the screen and like it's very like fun and like cutesy and stuff they opened at 11 i think we got in like at 12 Mm -hmm. But we got here like 20 minutes early, so, like, so overall yeah. we waited like an hour, almost an hour and a half, which isn't too bad I guess, but I definitely don't think we'll come back here until the hype dies down because like when we got there, there was like people walking in trying to sign up to get on the wait list and it was already like a four hour wait, which is like way way too long, like you could watch two movies <laughs> by the time your time is um, up. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to this little crystal shop that I found that I wanted to take a look at in this area. Got some share tea. We're really excited because a good bubble tea place, well, hopefully, this is good, um, just opened up in um, our area because we actually do not have any, have any bubble places in our area. So we always have to travel to like South Center. There's like some in Chinatown that are really good, but we've never had one here in like our the area that we live in. So hopefully, the share tea is good. I just got a mango green tea with 3% sugar. Got Thai tea blended. Am I drinking it? Yet? Mm, yeah, it's good. I'm gonna get a sip. It's good. Mm. It's like the perfect sweetness for me. Yeah, usually for boba, we have to drive out at least like 15 20 minutes. But now we have one that's like five minutes away. Ten minutes, a little bit less than ten. So that's nice. But before I end the vlog, I just wanted to share with you guys what I got at the crystal store. I don't think I ever shared with you guys on my channel that I do collect crystals. I started collecting um, a little over a year ago and I am always like non-stop buying new crystals. And more recently, I've been buying a lot of um, crystal bracelets because they're a lot easier to just wear 
instead of like having my stones with me. So we found this really cute store um, in Bellevue, which is where the area that we were at and we were shopping around. I just got um, another thing of sage because I'm running out and this is how I cleanse my crystals with um, sage. I also cleanse them every full moon or at least I try to or with um, salt water. And then I bought this stone because I thought it was so pretty. I also don't have um, this crystal yet, but I believe this is the fire quartz. And it has a little baby rainbow. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's so freaking pretty. And then I got a bunch of um, bracelets, which I'm so freaking excited for. I actually got Nigel his first one. I've been wanting to get him one to wear. This one is a tourmaline in quartz. So tourmaline is really great to as like a protection stone from negative energy and then quartz is kind of like multi-purpose a little bit. Um, it's really good for good luck and just um, clearing any negative energy. So I got strawberry quartz. This one has bigger beads which I've been really really into but it's such a cute color. And then I also got super seven. Super 7 has been one of my favorite crystals lately. Um, if you guys didn't know, it's like a whole bunch of different crystals in one. I'm not 100% sure what type of crystals. I know there's like amethyst and some other ones, but it's a really pretty bracelet. And then this one is Moonstone. And it's so freaking pretty. Uh, I love the bigger beads. I've been loving them a lot more lately. So that's that one, and then this is the one I got for Nigel, the tourmal tourmaline in quartz. Also, I just realized that the AC was on the whole time, so I apologize if that was kind of annoying to hear. Um, but I just want to take this time to say thank you for watching this video. I've been going through a lot lately, so I just want to say I appreciate those of you who still continue to watch my videos and support me even though it's been difficult for me to be consistent more recently so um thank you from the bottom of my heart for still being here and still sticking with me you guys don't know how much i really do appreciate how much i really do appreciate that i love you all so much and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye